So here's a quick appendix video. Uh, the live stream that we had this morning cut off just before the end. I think I had an internet brownout, uh, brownout at home uh, at the house. So I just wanted to record this last bit just so we can complete the picture of part one. So we were just about to hit create on this new webhook subscription. We call it webhook. It's pointing to the same queue, hands-on. That queue has 30 messages in it that we'd sent already via the queue push. And the webhook URL is the URL of the route to the app that we've deployed to SAP Cloud Platform, okay? We've made that exempt as well. And so if we create it, that should connect to the queue and the enterprise messaging service instance should start sending the, the queue to 30 queued messages to that particular webhook. So let's make visible our terminal so we can actually start looking. So we we'll see if uh, logs recent webhook, we can just make sure things are still working. And you can see actually just from before, um, we, we've already got some previous ones, the ones that, that happened when I was sort of offline. So what we're gonna do is just run that now, just to have a look at the output from our webhook. Remember we've got console.log statement in there. Uh, this is the, um, what's it called, webhook index there. This is this one here, this is this line. We're looking for this output from our webhook receiver. We've got 30 messages in the queue. I'm gonna press create and let's see what happens. We've got the queue there, the webhook subscription. And we've got some stuff and there we go. We can see already there's some stuff. And in fact, the final thing I did was to say, oh, I wonder if I can um, grep search for that particular character, which I'd used, where was it? There. And it turns out we can. Great. So we've now seen the complete end-to-end -end picture. We've created a queue using the management API. We've pushed messages to that queue using the messaging API using HTTP. We've connected a webhook endpoint, which we've first tested via ngrok, but then finally deployed to SAP Cloud Platform. We've connected that webhook to the queue. And as soon as we made that connection, the messaging service sent those queued messages to the webhook and there's the output from the webhook receiving those messages. Okay, so thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.